Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. Uh, we are going to be running dungeons again uh, this time if I just pull up our season journey. Uh, we're still working our way through uh, the chapter 4 bits and current target is going to be a tier 10 dungeon. Uh, we do have some uh, some blood that we can use actually while I think about it. So let's uh, see if we can get any of these powers up to rank 3. Probably not, but uh, we're going to be getting closer. Um, yeah, none of these are great for us. Could push metamorphosis up, but jagged spikes is where we want our points to be going. Undying is not helpful. Play on the weak, though. Happy to get that within three clicks. So that's all good. Uh, I should make some potions. We do have some some fancy fancy potions, but for right now, I don't think we want to be using those. I want to I save them. Oh, which means we might need. You know what? I'm going to make a few of these anyway. Just so that they're done, uh, and we're gonna have to go and get some some galavine and stuff. How are we doing in terms of materials? We could make some galavine. We're not using uh, redamine at all, so let's let's craft up what we can. And eventually, when we uh, get to a high enough level, we're going to need to switch some things around in order to... There we go, we can make acrobatics elixirs. I think those will be fine. If we were to go for... What's the cheapest? Yeah. Galavine and something else. Probably the weak iron barb. Um, we don't quite have enough to get two potions worth of this. Alright, what we'll do is we'll very quickly go to Kyrvashad and see if we can't get some bite berry from just outside. It won't take us long and then we can hop into a dungeon. So hop hop onto our horse. And out we run. It's normally a little bit to be found out here. None just there that I could see. Let's check over the other side. There's some bite berry. That's three. Be nice to get a little bit more. Come on, game. There we go. Three more. Anything tucked over here? I'm not seeing anything obvious. There's some. Five. Love it. All right, that's enough for two potions. And yeah, we're probably going to need to spend more time hunting for resources like that in the future. But we've got a good... Uh, a good amount for now. Just barrel through these lots just in case there's anything more. There we go. That's a few more. Yeah. 
final bit. It's definitely my favourite place to come for Bite Berry. And we always need more. Okay, that'll do. Let's uh, get back to town, make ourselves those potions, and then we'll hop into another Tier 7 dungeon. Now, what are these? That's uh, learning about the Helltide. That's uh, learning about sigil crafting. Helltide's not going to be around for a while, so we'll ignore that for the moment. Eventually, we are going to need Redamine for that. So that's good to know ahead of time. All right, Iron Barbs. We'll make three of them. We'll need more Bite Berries in the future, but this will do quite nicely for right now. Off to the Forbidden City we go. Now while we could uh, push for a rank 10 dungeon earlier than, uh, than we need to, there's no point because we're not going to get uh, extra experience from the mobs within and it's going to be harder and take us longer so i'd rather grind out at the appropriate level or the most uh, optimal level i should say all right you i'd like to get you killed sooner rather than later Let's unseal the door so we can get in. Let's try and kill this blood boil. This area is actually a little intense. Lots of lightning pain coming in. That's what we're experiencing. get that thing killed before it causes us any other trouble. And up for the next fight. I do like that we occasionally stun mobs. It's not something that I was originally planning on for the build, but... I do feel like it works quite well for us. I'm out of fury. Let's keep away from the explosion. Yeah, we're already significantly closer to uh, to the next paragon point so our leveling speed is going to keep being nice and high all right those lightning bits are gonna vanish in a second We do take a fair amount of damage from uh, from all these mobs, but as long as we pay attention to it. There's that Twister Glyph, or I assume that one's the uh, Dust Devil one. Okay, everyone dead down here. Still looking for those enraged spirits. Try and get the guy kicking the lightning out dead before everyone else. I'm not ready yet. Nice. 
Damn annoying blood boils. I must wait. There we go. Got them killed off nicely. Now there's nothing even down there. Of course not. All right, let's uh, head back the other way. We will find these spirits. We have a fancy chest as well. Ooh, and it is trapped. Wogs. Not a particularly Dangerous assault. Okay, that was more dangerous in there. And yeah, because they, they're getting all stacked up on the same point, actually. There is definitely some, some danger in this. Man, look at how how much experience we got from that. Almost a full half tick into the next point as well. Amazing. All right, let's let's see what we're actually going to get from this. Yeah, very strange spawning with everything appearing right on top of each other. I will grab the hood, actually. I think it probably worked in our favour more than against us. Getting those blood boils taken out is always a priority. Alright, there's another enraged spirit. Grab everything in here before we do. Down into the ghastly depths. So it would have actually been like easy enough for us to just barrel straight forwards, but uh, we didn't know which way the spirits were going to be. And I think we got a good and worthwhile amount of experience from uh, from the route we took. Need to make sure we're killing everything, so let's try and be logical about how we move around. <clears throat> Artillery shrine. Probably should have saved that for the uh, for the boss. It's fine though. We'll uh, we'll just use it to get through these bits as quick as we can. Pretty good kill speed. You need to die. Let's not be in the middle of all that when it goes off.
And another glyph. We are almost full up on those glyphs now, I think. I don't have enough fury. There's something really satisfying about uh, getting them uh, all hit with the vampire curse at the same time. Sure, I'll help. Just, you know. Try not to get yourself killed is what I'm going to say. Cool, new level. So that's going to get us the uh, the glyph socket. Try to keep the uh, the position as good as I can for keeping these things alive, but. getting less likely with every moment. Okay. Adventurers are fine. We got a sacred ring out of it as well. Lovely. And of course the ovals. And some more nightmare sigils. Right, let's put this uh, this point in. So this is going to go in the glyph socket up here. Oh, probably extra damage to close enemies is the right one. Territorial seems like it's going to be most useful for us. We're going to want to push its radius up so that it can pick up these two and put points into them as well. And then we're going to need to hunt for where the dexterity is. It's just over this side actually, so it's not too, too far away. Yeah, so... Definitely territorial is where we want to be putting our upgrade points. We are full of stuff. Let's um, let's head back, clear some space, and then we'll come back in and carry on. So over here, what do you need? it's a pretty nice ring, but it doesn't really have what we need on it. Critical strike chance is fine. Damage to stunned enemies is fine, but not great. Extra fortified generation is interesting. But I think overall I suppose the critical strike chance is is probably the best thing on there. Let's um let's salvage it up. It's not it's not good enough to be spending our resources on right now. Uh that's a tier eight, that's a tier five, that's a tier five. That's a tier 8. We'll just sound these up while we're here. Because uh, we can definitely move up to tier 8 now. But let's finish off the Ghastly Depths. And we'll carry on finishing off these, uh, these mobs. We must be getting pretty close to uh, to running out of them.
Enemy horde incoming. Here we go. I'm going to focus on this one. Then you. Actually, there's a lot more than I... Uh, than I expected down in this bit. Definitely trying to get all the poisons done before the lightnings, and then the lightnings done so we can clear the ground spaces. Does this actually extend? No, that's that's a dead end. That's fine. It's a little bit chuggy there. Definitely got knocked around. There we go. We're down to the last last batch of mobs. I wonder what range the Need of Flare aspect has. Oh, another enemy horde, okay. There we go, door has been unsealed. Let's head back and go find the boss. Luckily, it's a little loop around that bit, so you don't, don't lose anything or have to backtrack too much. I think they've done a a lot with the dungeon generation to try and keep things flowing forwards nicely. Resurrected Malice. This thing is going to be gone in just a second. There we go. Only one legendary thing from it. But uh, we did get another aspect. Right. So we can, we can push revenge up to level 5. Which will give us the benefits straight away. Or we can start really ranking territorial up. We need to get it up to rank 15 in order to expand that... Uh, radius and I think it's probably going to be the most useful thing we can be spending our points on. Certainly the most impactful because of that um, damage reduction from nearby enemies. Alright, let's uh, clear some space and we'll get back into another dungeon. Bless. What was this? What Leap creates an earthquake. Don't care. You can take what's left. Uh, that's a tier seven. Uh, we're doing tier eights now, so let's uh, let's just salvage that up. We've got two choices: uh, nightmare portals or Avenger. Probably go for the Avenger one, I think. This is going to be our first tier 8. Exciting and scary. The mobs are going to be hitting harder, but we're not really gaining much in the way of our own strength and survivability. Still, we are pretty fine. I think we just dodged being feared. I've never seen that before. Right. Point goes in. Where do we want to push for? Damage reduction from bleeding enemies, I think. Uh, 
And in the meantime, let's uh, hunt out the Animus Carriers. That was, a, that was a lot of very disgusting explosions. Yeah, this is definitely painful. Our thorns damage is lovely though. But these guys are doing quite a bit of extra uh, extra damage that we're not resisting. So I am going to have to pay attention and not just go charging in recklessly. Uh, very painful when he hits that guy. The rivers of crimson to open the door at the bottom of these tunnels. Our sacrifice shall be rewarded. Salvation is within our grasp. Hail the unholy mother and her divine. Caught by the barrel. There's another animus carrier just over here. And of course it puts the lightning out. Right, at least that's dead. So we can push on for the next horrible thing quickly. Let it do what it's doing. This is a selection of different things for Animus Carriers this time. I kind of like that. Let's carry it gone. Let's push over to the next groups. Where do you go? Come back here. Can't be running away like that. I will deal with you now. <clears throat> okay, we'll just get our map secured down here. We are stonking through the uh, season tiers at the moment. It's very good pacing. Okay, you're bleeding out. So I'll just grab bits and move up for the Animus Carrier. Grab those bits. We can head back now, but I want to. I want to kill everything now. It's like we've we've come this far.
Who knows, maybe there'll be another way in to where we're going. Okay, Max killed him. And that nuked that one. Love it. Okay, we'll... Definitely got a lot of uh, good monster density in here. Rounded you out. <clears throat> and this does connect back up. That's nice. I wasn't sure if we'd need to uh, to backtrack or not. Because I haven't... At least I don't remember seeing this dungeon before. Up to the door where we fought that giant demon. Yeah, that was a little painful coming through there. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> Being uh, vulnerable in here certainly isn't gonna be a good fun thing. I like the layout of this place though. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to watch those ranged attacks. Nice. Another Paragon point. Now pushes in towards the magic node. Where, oh where, is our target? Yeah, I feel like we're having to use our defensive skills quite defensively in here. Oh, you've got a lot of uh, damage resistance, don't you? Solving the problems one at a time. Don't run away from me. I'm trying to kill you. I'll consider helping you in a bit. I mean, your friends are actually going to be in a much safer position if you've moved down here, so. Not too bad so far. Try and get some focus on a lot of these. They're still technically alive. Okay, two of them are alive. <clears throat> Yeah, keep your focus on me, guys. Take us, my friend. It's not much, 
but I hope it helps. Uh, it feels like we got a decent amount of stuff from that. Two of them survived. I don't feel like that's a bad result. <clears throat> we need to drink another iron barb elixir because our current one is about to run out. Face shrine cap over here. Probably going to be better for us to save the shrine. Ooh, that was a little painful. Let's, let's just get these guys killed because I do not like that ranged stuff that's happening. So it would be a lethal shrine. Yeah, we'll save that for the boss. Another trapped resplendent chest. Let's uh, back up a bit because this is actually uh, a very dangerous place to be with it. Especially if they're doing, geez, stuff like that. I don't want to use this, this shrine. a lot of that going. We've definitely massacred enough enemies. Right, he's going to explode. Let's back away. Yeah, that felt... Uh, Felt a bit dangerous, especially being in such close quarters. <clears throat> I'm not ready yet. Ooh, very, very painful. We are getting through a lot of potions at the moment. With some of these uh, these initial like alpha strikes that are coming from the enemies, that ac acid poison stuff on the ground is very bad. Killed because you're making me vulnerable. I think we're getting a teeny bit of lag as well. It's not too bad, but it's enough to be noticed. There is another Paragon point for us. Uh, this might loop around. I think the lethal shrine is actually going to be in the wrong place for us to use it for the boss. Which will suck if it's the case, but I don't think there's much we can really do about it. Alright, we need to head back to town anyway, so let's do that. And we'll put our point into the damage reduction from bleeding enemies. Oh, Hemomancy should be making things bleed. Uh, we've not found any legendary things, so we can just salvage up what we have. There we go, all under the hammer. Boom. 
back in we go. Okay, so with this thing on our back, we can try, is what I'm thinking. We run back, we grab it, we try and get forwards in time to still be able to use it. Maybe we'll get a teeny bit of benefit out of it. Here we go. As quick as we can. I think it's probably going to be a no, though. That's half time. Three quarters time. I mean, we were able to get the big overwhelm in there, so that's better than nothing. And he's dead. Right, we'll grab the chest armor. Ooh, we, so in total, we got three things from that one. That's pretty nice. Uh, once again, we're going to keep putting into Territorial. Increased damage against close targets, and we want to get it so that its uh, radius increases as soon as possible. Uh, Dust Devil. Immunity Bubble. Damage reduction for bleeding enemies. This is a, this is a good roll. Um... I mean, overall, it's it would be a good chest armor if it was uh, if it was sacred. But we're using our Rage of Haragath, so I'll probably extract that though, so we have it available for somewhere else. And I think we'll uh, we'll head and do some blood harvest stuff to finish out this episode. Okay, so we're going to extract that. What have we got here? Extra damage with, with two-handed slashing weapons. That's good because everything we do is two-handed slashing weapons. And then flat extra damage. Plus two intelligence is not what I would necessarily pick. I think our current fury cost reduction is helping with our whirling. But it's not a terrible, terrible thing. It's not sacred though. Not sacred, not worth us spending the resources on, I'd say. And these trousers. Two ranks of leap, two ranks of war cry. No. Under the hammer, under the hammer, and we'll extract this one. We have 77 obols, which isn't enough to... to really do any gambling. So we'll have to wait until we get a few more... A uh, few more resources for that. Let's get started. Okay. Goes on to the side. Where, oh where? It's the blood harvest. It's over here. Alright. Over to Tiamir we go.
we could try the council. I think it would be pretty dangerous, but we could try the council. Let's um let's go around and kill some mobs first, see how we feel. I'm low on fury. Lotness Reaver, sure we'll hit you. Bit of punch to claim in there as well. I mean, there's going to be loads of punch to claim. <laughs> the uh, the culling with Hemomancy is just so incredibly strong. Still feeling so relevant. I must wait. I need to get that damage reduction gone. Pick up all these bits. It's not actually hurting us too badly. A lot of the mobs. Not ready yet. We can definitely grab all the Howler Moss in the area as well, because we'll be able to convert that to Galavine and... Uh, then in turn, convert it into Bite Berries. Vampiric Siphon. Definitely calls calls them in, doesn't it? Vampires see you as a threat. All right, let's let's dive out of that. That is a whisper silence. We're going to get another one when the blood seekers come after us. I'm not also, we got a. We got a key, so get a bit more blood there. Right, that's where we need to go. Deposit the moats. Because we have a lot of moats on us at the moment. We might end up with the uh, uh, the blood seekers coming for us before we even get to it. Okay, altar of reaping. There is a level. Right. We're going to head to the tree. Before any bloodseekers come over to us. Hand this in and then we'll get back and finish off those bloodseekers. Just so that we've got those grim favours done. What were the gloves we got? 
Uh, double swing gloves. It is done. Uh, let's go for two-handed weapons. Maybe we'll get a fancy, fancy pole arm. Different to this one. No. No fancy, fancy pole arm. We did, however, get another one of our glyphs. I'm not ready yet. Okay, let's go looking for a couple more mobs. We'll get the uh, blood seekers harvested. Just a little painful in here. Alright, let's get out of that. Because there is Bloodseeker. Not ready yet. And we can also go get some rewards from the bounty board. I must wait. I think that's all the bits picked up from there. Right, are there any more things? Vampire structures we could do, but uh, that would take a little bit of time. So I think what we'll do is just head back to the, uh, to the board and collect our rewards. And then spend the blood that we've got, because we've got a little bit of blood. Large pile of items in gold retrieved from the vampires. And we've got quite a bit more to go for the next level. Hey, 245 obols. Okay. I was expecting a legendary thing, but I guess you can't always get what you want. Uh, damage reduction from bleeding enemies. That makes a lot of sense. And then the question is, where do we want to go from here? Extra damage to bleeding enemies, extra damage to elites. It's not, it's not spectacular. We could pick up the dexterity here in anticipation of this actually getting hit. So that would give us, let's say we got both of them. That's an additional 14, which would take us to 19 dexterity. So we still need to hit both of those. All right, let's 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 push towards these, and then this will be our exit path, like that. So we don't care so much about maximum life. So I think, yeah, we'll uh, we'll push across that way on the board. All right, let's, uh, let's salvage up the stuff that we have. So these... Ooh, 4.5% lucky hit chance and physical damage over time and ranks of whirlwind. These are actually not... not terrible. Yeah, the, these are not terrible. We'd want to probably put another divinity on them, I think. Yeah, we'd need one more divinity on them. Otherwise, we would lose. Let's 
Let's wear them. Uh, right, so we switched across to these. They are not sacred, so we're not going to really do much with them. I suppose I could upgrade them so that we've got more lucky hit chance. Uh, the other thing is, though, I think we're just going to salvage up. It's nice, it's got thorns on it, but uh, it's not going to be much use to us other than that. Right, upgrade. Upgrade the gloves. And actually, ooh. Yeah, we've got one Forgotten Soul, but we would need another to upgrade this fully, so we'll leave that as it is. Salvage you. Salvage you. Have we not upgrade? Oh, we did get a sacred legendary pole arm. Well, we'll spend the resources to get that in a in a good place. It's not got like perfect rolls on it, but that's uh, still going to be a significant change. Uh, and I think that's uh, that's where we're going to have to finish off for this episode. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise. I'll see you next time for some more Diablo 4. See you soon.